English as a lingua franca is the medium of communication that people from different linguistic and cultural background would use as their common medium of communication. So it's mainly used in intercultural communication uh, among people from different sociocultural and linguistic backgrounds. One way my research has been, I think, interesting has created some implications in a direction of questioning standard language ideology. And a lot of teachers feel that they, they should be guardian of the standard language, whatever that is. But when uh, we engaged teachers with the idea of English as a lingua franca, a more fluid and co-constructive way of seeing English, which takes uh, into consideration the sociocultural background of the teachers themselves and their context of uh, work, uh, then they, the teachers um, reacted uh, relating that to, to their professional identity and seeing how they felt much more liberated and almost emancipated in the way that they could now refer um, to English as a lingua franca in their professional practices, uh, which is something that is more closer to who they are uh, as professionals. The main implication is how you look and how you conceptualize language. And traditionally in English language teaching, we see language as related to the standard. Um, teachers tend to look at the standard English um, as the norm that they need to uh, refer to when they uh, apply for the classroom, when they uh, deal with classroom practices. And um, it, it's important to think about how English has developed differently around the world and it's used and constructed differently by different people around the world and therefore um, uh, it's also taken on cultural and identity aspects that are typical of certain uh, communities around the world but they're not necessarily replicating the standard.